Are you guys ready for a little bit of Mario Maker? While the moon slowly crashes down to Earth. This is, um, this is a real moon. This is, in fact, the moon right now. A and... Oh god, can I... Can I make this happen? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm wondering if, if there's a way I could... Nah, probably not. It's either this, the moon's gonna be trans- like, we can't have the moon with us while I stream. Yeah, it's too- it, it's not- it's not gonna happen. That's a shame. It almost reminds me of the Final Fantasy VII logo. <laughs> here, let me, um... Let me, let me put the moon up here. The moon will be the coins. <laughs> that'll, that'll work, right? Anyway, how you guys doing tonight? Um... Tonight I have just a few things. It's... I'm still sick. And if, the more I laugh, the more my throat hurts. So I'm trying to keep this kind of low-key. <laughs> I've been saying that the past three nights. And absolutely nothing has, um... Oh no, wait, wait, how does this work? I have to keep that in the corner at all times. Oh shit, guys. I didn't think this all the way through. Hang on, hang on. So I'm going to try to keep this a little bit low-key. No Tamadachi tonight, because I just simply don't have anything for Tamadachi right now. Um, I don't have any any thoughts on what to do next. Uh, got some interesting games to stream. Maybe we'll do some multiplayer of something. I'm not sure what yet. But uh, it should be fun. I'll try to keep it as entertaining as possible. I really, really want to keep this moon on the screen for no good reason other than to make people that come in late just be like, what is that by the coins? Is he collecting moons? Is he, is he collecting moons? Is that a new thing? Did they update Mario Maker that you can collect moons? There we go. All right, okay, finally. Finally, we're here, we're ready. Okay, so once again, welcome to the stream, everyone. And, well, let's... Please understand. So before I start... Um, before I do anything, I'm not making a level tonight. I'm just playing some levels. I have some interesting levels that I want to show you guys. The moon is making less sense. The moon has just become squarified. Oh my god, this isn't gonna work, is it? I have to do this one more time if I want to get this right. So I have a new level that I, I think is it worked out really well. And uh, I'll it's hard though. And I'll show you guys that, but first I want to give you the code to that level. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, first I'm going to give you the code to the level. So if you want to play it while I'm playing a few other levels that I have, you can. It's called Thwomp's Armada, and it's a very, very underused tile set, which is the Mario 1 airship theme, which didn't even exist in Mario 1, so... Um, the ID of this course is 230C-0000-0001. It's challenging, but it's fair. I think that if you just, you know, take your time with the level and kind of scope out how all the things work, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with it. So yeah, feel free to play it. Now, while that happens, 
I want to show you guys some really, really cool levels that I found that I haven't even played yet, actually. So, I just kind of know what they are. Um, okay, I have the codes right here. Here we go. Just a few that I've collected in my travels. Super Mario Party Maker. That's the first one. Zero seven. Okay, and I'll be sure to show you guys the codes. So there it is. The moon keeps going away. Guys, the moon keeps keeps going out of frame. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh fuck. Someone's they're trying to follow it, I guess, with the telescope camera. If that's even a thing. And they're just not doing it. It's it's like they they adjust every so often. They don't adjust every time the moon moves. So I have to account for that and I have to chroma key the whole goddamn moon. Yeah, it's even better. See now I just made it brighter. Distracting moon. Why do we care about this? I don't I don't even care about it, but yet there it is. So this is again, this is Super Mario Party Maker. The moon's a little camera shy. Well, you know, I just didn't want to be on camera, I guess. So this is apparently character selection. Um Oh god, I get towed. Of course I get towed. Hit the brick to roll the dice. Jump up into the open spot after hitting the dice block. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I think I, I see how this works. No, I have- I have no idea how this works, actually. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's the dice block. And then, I guess- is this a mini game? No, I need that. Oh, shit. What the hell is this map? R2? R2-D2? <laughs> Try to kick the shell across the platforms into the brick. Thank god there's instructions. If this map gets played any more than it already is, there's gonna be absolutely no instructions. It's just gonna be dicks and tingles. It's a very strange map. <laughs> it's a very, very strange map. Results. Oh, okay. Results. All right. How did I do? Third. I got third place. In other words, I'm now propelled into spikes. Now, nah, Toad's invincible. <laughs> what a weird map. Now the moon keeps moving away from the coins. 
God damn it, Moon. I'm gonna give it a star anyway, because it was really creative. I don't know what the hell happened in that map, for the most part, but I still thought it was clever. Next is Minecart Mayhem. 3DD7 0000004D BB68 It's BB8's little brother. Alright, and then this is made by Cheese. And you can see the code there. So this is Minecart Mayhem. There's another level that I saw a weird mechanic for, and I thought, oh, this looks this looks good. A lust for mechanics. So it's a minecart level, guys, but look look how it's done. <laughs> oh shit. Those arrows. Those arrows pretty much signaled for me to jump. Holy crap. Cool ride, bro. Oh my god. We're do we're going again. There's there's more minecarts. This time we go backwards. This is a really, really cool concept. Cool. That's really, really cool. I think I broke it. The camera panning makes this not work in the slightest. Is one of the comments. I think. It, I think it works, somewhat. How do you activate the POW block in Thwomp's Armada? Jump in, jump into it. Like... You have to ju like, um, jump into it like it's a coin block. Okay, I'm not sure what the hell to do with that, that part right there, but... Oh, I see. It, it can only be activated once. The Thwomp destroys the, um, the, the fucking, the thingamajig. Oh, I'm a dick. I know what I have to do now. Oh, come on! The moon's been readjusted. The moon <laughs> Super moon, please. Why do we care about super moon so much? There's, there's no reason. Um, pretty cool level. Really, really creative. I've never seen... I've never seen that before. I've never seen that used like that. So... So if you want to play it, there's the code. Uh, my, this next one is called Terraria? With a question mark. Five, one, five, four... One, five... Zero, 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 seven, one... Zero six F E zero six iron. From Zach. So yep, this is this is Terraria. I need to make bandages. Or was that Starbound? I don't remember. <laughs> Which one do you make bandages from vines in? Starbound. Right, okay.
Kind of reminds me a little bit of Terraria. A little bit. I remember last time I played Terraria for the most recent update. I was really, really enjoying it. And then it got really, really hard. Because I was playing on the hard difficulty. And I advanced way before I should have. To, you know, when shit gets real. I'm getting some Terraria vibes from this. Just not as many as I thought I would. It just re it actually reminds me more of a, of a crappy Mario level, to be honest. Not to say the level's bad, but that's that's you know that's what it reminds me of. Okay. The bone thrower. Get through the fucking bone thrower. Shit, the mushroom diome. Diome, I say. Wow. Where's the pickaxe? I want all these diamonds. Diome. It's actually kind of a cool word. Yo, what? Moon is dead. Let's watch this guy. Why is he in the related videos? Love is a funny thing. <laughs> John Moon, guys, he's here. They call him Blood Moon. His middle name is Blood. Alright, well, that's the end of the moon. I, I enjoyed it for a few minutes, and then John Blood Moon Harrington. He made up for all that. It's like John Cougar Mellencamp. You don't give yourself a nickname. Boys and girls, you don't do it. You earn nicknames. And Cougar doesn't sound like something his friends gave him when he was in high school. Hey, John Mellencamp. What's up, Melons? Huh? What, what up, Melons? I don't like that nickname. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's your name. You're, you're Melons. John Melons. Well... I mean, I'm cooler than that. Oh, well, well, tell me how cool you are. I play acoustic guitar about, like, I, I do, like, country songs. Yeah, you're Melons. No, I'm Cougar. I'm, my middle name, my nickname is Cougar. Coog. I'm the Coog. John Coog Mellencamp. I'll, you'll see, I'll make it big one day. And then he did. And then everyone called him the Coog. It's very strange. So, I guess, never mind. You can give yourself a nickname if you make it famous. Whatever, what is Mellencamp? He sings about small towns, right? That's that's that guy? I was born in the small town. Yeah. I would die in a small town. Yeah. I eat corn in the small town. Yeah, yeah. Margaritas in small towns. John Cougar was his original stage name. Yeah, I, I must profess ignorance. I've never researched the Coog. I only have heard one of his songs, which is the, uh, all of his songs, I should say, which are just all one of his songs that are the same. It's when he goes, I was born in the smoke town, yeah. living life in my small town. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, listen, we're going to continue on. This one is Parappa Palace based on Zelda 2, from Zack. I think it's the same guy that made the Terraria one, actually. So let's see how a Zelda 2 level in Mario Maker might work. Well, it looks...
It looks alright. There's the elevator. And, well, no. I'm no longer Link. Illusion ruined. Killed by Goombas. Man, if I get killed, I can complete my own levels, no problem. But I get killed in stupid spots in other people's levels. Like really dumb spots. Oh, those are the windows. The ice blocks are windows. Interesting. Yeah, this is this is very Zelda 2. There's the skeleton. To the Calcium Caverns. That's supposed to be the key. Cool. Cool pipe that doesn't go anywhere. I've actually lost interest in this course. If you want to play it, though, by all means, go ahead. There's the code right there at the bottom. Interesting. I'm sure there's a, something I was missing. Maybe I had to go all the way to the right instead of just a little bit to the right. So I probably am to blame for that. But that's cool. I just I have a bunch more I want to get to. Olimar's Gardening Breakthrough. Five, uh, B5, C0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, E, 5, 9, FF. What I don't understand, why aren't keys in this game? This one's by IHOB. I don't understand, like, like, why aren't keys in the game? Because they were in Super Mario World. And they were a big part of that game. Not a huge part of the game, but big enough. <laughs> Give me that. I need that. That is an amazing noise. This level looks like a clusterfuck. Clear all the bricks in the vine's path. Oh, I see. That's the gardening breakthrough. Why does Olimar sound like he's getting railed? Like, if you just close your eyes and use your imagination, it does not sound right. Anyway, I don't think I could do this now because I, I already lost the vine. The vine is gone! Come on, give me, give me all more. Huh. All more. There's one. Shit. Now I have to get the next one. There you go. Oh, you still hear the wrong note.
Whoa. Really? <laughs> the flagpole was at the top. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I actually haven't seen that before. That was cool. Nicely done. Nicely done. Alright, next is... Bowser and his secret shame. I swear that's the name of this next map. Do we want to discover what Bowser's secret shame is? B E C seven zero 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 three E one eight five eight. This one is made by who? Oh, Naked Snake, Big Boss, Naked Snake. His secret shame is that he plays with dolls of Mario and Luigi. Is this where his secret shame is? Up here? It's got some fucking dank drugs. In his attic. What's the secret shame? Bowser Jr. kills himself. I hope someone got fired for this. Oh. Yeah, go. Do it. Do it. See ya. Later. What was the secret shame? talking about coral I have no idea feel I may have missed the concept but the roof section is really satisfying yeah I don't I don't that's uh kind of how I feel it's a good map <laughs> this <laughs> the shame is still secret the shame will remain secret this one is called the legend of Zelda so now we have another Zelda map. This one is based on Zelda 1. And I remember seeing a short video clip of this and I was like, yes, I need to show everyone this. This is good. This one's by Brick101. His son was in the attic. He's secretly ashamed of his son. Hey, I won. I got the Triforce. I thought we did... something like this. Did I stream this particular level, or is this... a, a different take on Zelda 1?
Yeah, I think this is this is a different take. It's a secret to everybody. God damn it. Here's the first dungeon. Oh, that's cool. Someone was extremely meticulous about this. Bones! Bones! That's like... That's like the key to the next area. Oh, I can't go back down. was based on what particular enemy from Zelda 1? <laughs> I don't know if that's a secret or it's the way to go. Oh. I had a David Byrne moment. I had a David Byrne moment. I almost found myself in the middle of having a fucking conniption. No checkpoints, so if you fuck this up, then you, you gotta go all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> oh no. This is just right back to the to the middle room. Did I really just survive that? Get me up there. <laughs> Oh, I can't get up there. <laughs> oh, this just res- what is this? Wait, what does this do? Bombs. No bombs here. cool conceptual map but otherwise it's it's not a ton of fun to play through yeah this this is a better this is a better thing for Zelda maker when that never comes out okay that was cool Yeah, that, that was actually really, really cool. I doubt I'm going to survive 
the end of whatever's going on here, but... I think... Yep, okay, well, there you go, I just jinxed myself. Goddamn Porky's butthole. Cool map, definitely a cool map. Um, I'm gonna star it just for the amount of work and ingenuity. It suffers from... It's claustrophobic, it's busy, but also... It suffers from the fact that there's no checkpoints, which is not the developer's fault. Still, overall, a very interesting map, I would say. Okay, this one is called Thwomp's Puzzle Castle, or Thwomp Puzzle Castle. Here it is. I don't think I'm going to get through all of this because Rick and Morty's on soon. I'm going to take a quick break for that. Have something to snack on. And then I'll probably be back directly after Rick and Morty. With anatomically incorrect dinosaurs and a host of other things. patience level. I don't think I have the patience for this level. Apparently Justin Roiland said this is one of his favorite episodes of the season, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm interested. Oh, this guy stole my mechanic. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. <laughs> Considering I just uploaded my map today, I don't think he stole anything. But, really, um... I've heard good things about this level. This was featured in, in like, someone's top ten or something, so I figured, oh, I'll give it a shot. It didn't look like it was anything too in insane, but they said it was just a really fun level designed around one concept. Oh shit, it was a bone roller coaster. Great, good job, fucking lose the fucking fire flower. You stole my mechanic! How dare you steal the mechanic where I defeat Bowser? <laughs> I feel infringed. Jesus. That one's from Brian J. Hawk. That was a nice... Um... Fun level. I have to say, I enjoyed that. So, um, now... I will show you my level. My most recent level, which I've been working on for like... Four days. Five days, on and off. Probably about four days, actually. It's called Thwomp's Armada. And it, too, is a Thwomp level. Using a very underused tile set, which is Airship plus Super Mario Brothers 1. This did not exist in Super Mario Brothers 1. Don't listen to the guy who says there's a secret up there. I swear there isn't one. Hello, Mushroom. So, you notice it's only got a 6% clear rate? I didn't think it was that hard. So anyway, I give you a fire flower right off the right off the bat. Which does not help too much, but it will make the bombs a little bit easier. Vinny, why? I didn't think it was that hard. I honestly don't think this level is that hard. You'll see. This is cruelty. <laughs> what? Who the fuck is playing this level? That they don't know how to play the levels. Here. See? If you just wait long enough, the Thwomp offs himself. I tried to make it so that maybe you weren't too overloaded. There's an uh, alternate path, by the way, down there where it says you're pretty good. And there's some other stuff I'll let you discover on your own. What does this say? 
Subscribe to Reg TV for more minion videos. <laughs> so, all right. So then you go inside. This is a bit of a perspective shift. All right, I'm asking everyone to kind of bear with me here. This is the inside of that ship. So, in essence, you're shrinking down into that ship. There's a secret if you need it. So, you have two options here, which is to just gun it, or you could stay put. I noticed that if you put thwomps on th flying, exploding bombs, when the bombs explode, the thwomps stay in that one place. So, you'll notice here, the bomb destroys the blocks, Big Thwomp destroys the blocks, which is an introduction to two mechanics that I use here. The first being the Big Thwomp, which again, not an overly hard segment. Even if you don't have a Fire Flower, you could just easily jump over the bombs. But, right over here, there's a secret here. Actually, not quite, I kind of just missed it. See if we can get this secret. There's three major secrets in this level, and I've, I've labeled them one, two, and three in an original way. Very original thing to do. Um, the thing about the thwomps is they won't get closer to you unless... Yeah, here we go. So this is the first secret. Yeah, see? There's even a Luigi. So, over here... Over here, you have a few options. You can, you can approach this from the top or the bottom. I'm going to show you the intended approach. Which is a bit sadistic. They're both- honestly, both ways, however you attempt this, is going to suck. It's about analyzing the situation and taking your time. And just- look, if you don't rush, you're good. There's another secret somewhere around here. I'm not going to tell you where it is. So, here's something that I came up with. I'm Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson himself has played my level. Okay, so here's a, a thing that you can do. Pow block, right? Pow block falls. You hit the pow block. Hit the P switch. The gate opens. Actually... You could even wait a little bit longer. And this happens. So here's a segment that I thought... You, you have two options. Once again, you could either run through that like that, or you could take your time. I will show you secret number three. And see if anyone actually has, has been there. So you get this boot. And then you kind of just hop along the thwomps, and there's secret number three. There's another se oh, look at that! You found it. I'm gonna go for the fire flower. Nice. So, then the star is pretty much useless, to be honest. So, that, that's the only thing it'll help you defeat. So, um, over here, the idea is, if you look to your right, you see that. If you look to your left, you see that. So, there's really only one thing to do, and that is to get a boot and a helmet. And you'll even notice, what is that coin pattern? Yep, it's a boot and a helmet. Check this out. If you lose one, they're back here if you need them. And then you may wonder, like, well, what the fuck do I do here? But the arrow clearly points up and left. So, here's how you do it. You could come over here, and over here is just 
this is actually com completely pointless. It's only useful if you lose your shoe, which I just did. And I lost my helmet, but the helmet is now no longer relevant. I just need the boot. This part, you can get trapped here, actually. This this is one part that you can actually get yourself killed if you don't if you don't take it easy. Neat, but you are screwed if you lose boot. You get one chance to get boot back. And then the finale. And you're given helmet if you need it. And you're probably gonna need it, because this this part is actually kinda crazy without the helmet. There it is. It's not an easy level. But it's not unfair. I feel like if you watch me play it just now, you can you can see that oh look at that drawing. Wow, that is an excellent drawing. You can see that you, you there's a way whoa. There's a way to get through the level, there's a way to beat the level. There's definitely um, ways to get through it without taking any damage, but it is a little difficult, and that's kind of what I go for. I figure I'm not gonna dumb my levels down too much, like every now and then I'll make a more easy level, but I don't want to go too much harder than that. I feel like that's, that's like the right difficulty. Unfortunately, that's only about a 7% clear rate, and it's long too. But, um, yeah, so that's... That's my most recent one. Right, um... So, now I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna take a cough drop. Eating is very difficult. My th I have a throat infection. Eating sucks. Jesus. Anyway, yeah, so... I I'm okay, I'm alright, but... It just blows, so I'm trying to stay a little bit more low-key tonight and not do anything too crazy. I've got some good stuff, though. I have a plenty of cool things to show you guys, but I want to take a quick Rick and Morty break. Half hour. I'll be back literally 30 minutes from now with Anatomically Incorrect Dinosaurs, which is a game I think you guys would definitely enjoy watching, and some other surprises, and maybe even some form of multiplayer thing that we could all participate in. So, um, thank you guys for showing up. I hope you come back in, a, in about 30 minutes, and I'll see you then. All right? So, thank you. Thank you. See you soon.